it is. The national treasure of Austria. The creamy chocolate cake, the buttery ganache, and the delicious apricot jam. Created by the ingenious apprentice Franz Sacker in 1832. They're known throughout the world. The dessert of Vienna. Sacker taught. My first time seeing a real one. How should I cut it? If I cut straight, the cake will get mushy. If I cut sideways, I'll miss out on the apricot filling. What if I eat it in one bite? No, no, how unrefined. The director would scold me for that. I have to think carefully. There must be some other way. Remember all your training, Investigator Marcus. This is the most important moment of your life. Don't get too excited, or you'll ruin it. Oh no! But... No, nothing. Thank you for deciding for me. <coughs> what was it here, Marcus? Be because... <coughs> The cake is way too sweet. According to the plan, the head of the Vienna branch would pick us up and guide us through the necessary procedures of this era. But our train was two hours late. That being the case, our Mr. Carl should have been waiting for two hours, but so far there is no sign of any gentleman in the Foundation's uniform. So Mr. Carl is also more than two hours late. A clever deduction. Let us hope otherwise. I'll go check if he got here before us. I bet that island is a secret base of the Dulantant. That's why the Bulgarians are so anxious. They're worried about their exit on the Aegean Sea. A friend of mine is in the Navy. He saw a ship leaving the harbor loaded with gold. War is coming, friend. No, no! How does that explain the arcane creatures over there? I'd say it's never been discovered before. Like the Celtic Otherworld. You know, the heavenly land beyond the sea in Grand's legend. The Arcanum has declined after the Enlightenment. It is an honor for all of us in this era to find such a paradise from the past. You're not fit to be human if you don't understand what that island means to us, my friend. Secret base. Otherworld. Fascinating. I need to write this down. Hmm. Miss, could you show me your papers, please? Sorry, my friend has it. Could you hold on a minute? I am an arcanist sent from the headquarters of the St. Pavla Foundation. I have a letter of introduction from the head of the Vienna branch. Arcanist? Then you come with us, miss. Hands up and be quiet. Bring over the golems! We have an unregistered arcanist! Huh? Huh? 
market. Sir, please listen to me. <gasps> Don't let her get away! What is happening? At ease, gents. Allow me to explain. This respectable lady is most definitely not a Russian spy. Aha! Miss Hoffman! So, this lady with the big case is your... assistant? No spy would be stupid enough to carry an entire case of papers in public. So will be all gentlemen. The gentlemen in Vienna have become exceedingly sensitive after the infamous espionage cases of 1913. And their pride was almost destroyed by the Gadel case. The man was even head of counterintelligence and had a sexual orientation not tolerated in his time. Well, I'm not sure which of the reasons hurt them more. Sorry, Marcus. I should have told you that as your supervisor. The belief that Arcanus cannot cast arcane skills without the ability to speak. So old and superstitious. Like muzzling a dog when it gets out of control. Can we dispel it now, Mr. Carl? I have to remind you, Miss Hoffman, that theoretically we have to go through an entire approval process before I authorize the dispelling of the mute spell. But whatever, who cares? They shouldn't have treated a young lady like that, for whatever reason. <laughs> Relax. This was just a minor incident. You'll never find another place as tolerant as Vienna. It's the very same principles the Foundation strives for. All registered arcanists can come and go as they please in this beautiful city. We even offer artists and musicians perks that cover every aspect of their lives, because Vienna loves art and music. Oh, speaking of registered arcanists, could you show me her arcanum license? Arcanum license? Yes, ladies from the headquarters. Even so, I'm more than willing to skip some unnecessary procedures for you. We still have to be careful about security, you know, especially when dealing with arcanists. I don't think the headquarters issues such a license. No one told us to apply for one. Oh, there must be some mistake. All arcanists entering Europe must possess an arcanum license issued by the local government. Austria enacted this policy in 1756. We abolished it in 1868, but we're in the time of great tension, so... You know... Perhaps this lady knows something, Miss Marcus? Yes? You are an arcanist, even so you're sent by the headquarters, correct? Show to me then, your arcanum license.
Marcus is my assistant on this mission, Mr. Carl. She is not to answer your questions directly given her rank and status. It is me, the one in charge, that you should turn to, not my assistant. Oh, lady from headquarters, don't get me wrong. I didn't mean to usurp your authority. It's not an issue. You didn't have to. I have a... Here. Oh. Hmm? Um, is everything okay, Mr. Carl? Is it not acceptable? Oh, yes, it's a perfectly good license. I can even smell the ink from the government office. <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, Miss Arcanist from Romania. You should have shown it to me sooner. It would have saved us a lot of trouble. Um, I'm so sorry to have wasted your time. Speaking of which, no offense, but you are two hours and fifteen minutes late, Mr. Carl. My apologies. The Minister of Finance and I had a little too much at lunch. Well, your train was late too, wasn't it? You were having lunch when you were supposed to be here. We agreed. Relax, lady from the headquarters. You're just not used to this pace around here. Look at this industrialization and so-called modern designs. They have turned our beloved city and our carefree life into a cold, impersonal machine. Please forgive the train staff, the sewer workers, and the plumbers. It is their right to be a little unpunctual, and enforcing this right is a symbol of our free will. In the end, you didn't wait too long, and I got to enjoy my lunch. It all worked out, right? So, why was your train late? It crashed into a deer. A deer with free will. <coughs> Tragic. All right, forgive this old Carl for his minor mistake, ladies. The rumors about the Golden Isle had kept the branch busy. There was no one else but me to pick you up. It wouldn't have been so embarrassing if Headquarters had sent us manpower, instead of taking it from us. I am also on the job, Mr. Carl. Should I include your complaints in the report? <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. It's just a group of lunatics banished to an island. They're arcane criminals from a small country, and people will forget about them in less than a month. Only a few would believe that it has any real influence on Vienna. You know, the young artists who think highly of themselves, the schemers with evil plans, and the conspiracy theorists suffering from neurasthenia. The Megas and the Bohemians are already giving us a headache. Arcanists, they are not at all the Empire's top ethnic concern. But aren't you in charge of the registration and management of Arcanists? Well, first of all, isn't my loyalty to His Majesty and the Empire? Before you use the title Head of the Vienna Branch to define me, I am first and foremost an honored citizen of Vienna, and I serve our great Emperor, Lady. And I thought you said this was a tolerant city. Oh, yes. We are responsible for dealing with the problems caused by the Arcanists, just as we deal with the Megas and the Bohemians. All right. That's the venerable Vienna branch of the St. Pavlov Foundation. Over there. Let's go. Mr. 
Mr. Call is very different from the staff of the headquarters. In fact, most of the time the branch members aren't comrades who share the same goals with us. They're more like local officials we have to deal with. We need them as a buffer between the Foundation and the local governments. They can help us maintain peace in the human world. But you can't ask too much of them. Not all of them are cosmopolitans. Most of them put their emperor and their country first. That's why we shouldn't disclose classified information to them. Does it still hurt? Huh? Oh, it feels much better now. Good. Marcus, did you already have that license before you joined the Foundation? Yes. Austria abolished that policy in 1868, but Romania did not until 1913. I carried it with me out of habit. Thank goodness I did. This is indeed the era I'm from. That time has returned. Never disclose any information about the storm or the error to irrelevant people. Put away a license. We need to catch up with Carl. Remember my words, Marcus. Never trust anyone, even if they're a branch member of the Foundation.